Good evening. How was your day? According to the messages they sent to the WhatsApp, it seems that you had to finish your test before the class of, that we are going to have on Friday. So uh, remember that we will be checking the exam on Friday night, but you had to have it already correct. Okay? Because they want you to have it before the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Have you read a message on WhatsApp? Yes, teacher. Okay. Tomorrow I'll do my homework. Okay. What well, we have had, we have made already the first. The first uh, exercise. And tomorrow we will be finishing the other two. And we also have to check the midterm exam. If you want, we can check the midterm exam today also. That way, you can tell me if you have any questions. Okay. Because you will need to have it before Friday. And today the class is smaller. So I guess that we we may share this as well. Okay. How many people? 10, but it's not, it's not nine yet. Then tell me, how was your day today? Tell me what you have been doing. Ricardo de Jesus. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. You, uh, you ask us, tell me what you have been doing. Yes. In ¿Qué es lo que han estado the, the order, the order that some teacher taught us was, tell me what have you been doing? The, uh, the verb have goes before I don't know. I I'm confused. Well, the thing is that I was I was telling what you have been doing, not as a question. That's why I say you have been doing. Because in it, that case, how? Eh, eh, ¿Cómo cómo it, debemos it, interpretarlo entonces? No es una pregunta. No, es, es como cuando tú le dices, ¿y qué estuviste haciendo? Pero no, no a modo de, de pregunta, sino que es como una oración y el what es como en generalidad, es una generalidad. O sea, es una, es una forma de hablar, ¿verdad? Más coloquial. Mm, okay. Porque no, no es... Eh, no es una es no es una estructura gramatical de una pregunta. 
Ajá, sí, porque Ajá. lo entendía como una pregunta, pero no tenía la estructura que nos han enseñado. No, no, no tiene estructura de pregunta, sino que es como, what you have been doing, o sea, es, es, es una forma coloquial de hablar. Ok, o sea, thank es, you, teacher. No, no, cuando, cuando se hace una pregunta gramaticalmente este, estructurada, sí, va, what have you been doing, ahí sí, porque es una pregunta gramaticalmente estructurada, pero se supone que ustedes tienen que aprender este, a, a hablar como Coloquial. lo hacen, exacto, como lo hacen de forma natural, en, ¿verdad? Es más, eh, nada menos, yo, yo tengo un amigo que es british, o sea, él es británico. Y entonces sí, él me estaba preguntando, ¿y tú le enseñas a tus estudiantes a hablar gramaticalmente o, o a hablar norm así, normalmente? Porque la, los native speakers, me, lo menos en que se ponen a pensar es en la gramática. <risa> And it's true. I have a better grammar than most of the native speakers I, I know. When, when I am writing with native speakers, I found a lot of mistakes. But it's like we in Spanish. You, you don't tend to, to speak the grammatically correct in Spanish. If you notice when you read a, a very, very good book in Spanish, It's not the way you, re you, you, you talk. Okay. Now, it's time to start. Remember that we are with, may I take your order? This is class number six. And here, I love this saying, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Okay, this is classic and it was from Albert Einstein. ¿Verdad? Estar loco es hacer las cosas una y otra vez. ¿Verdad? O sea, lo mismo. Hacer lo mismo una y otra vez, esperando resultados diferentes. If you want a different result, you have to make the things differently. ¿Ok? In this class, participants will practice pronunciation, noticing stress in responses. They will also learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Okay. Listen and practice. Hi, nice to see you again. In this class, we will practice pronunciation, noticing stress in responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. Okay, I do too. Repeat, I do too. 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 I am too. I am too. I am too. I am too. 
I can too. I can too. I can too. I can too. So do I. 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 Me hace mucho ruido. Okay. So am I. So am I. So am I. So am I. So can I. So can, so can I. I. So can Okay, now each of you will do the same, okay? Now, uh, who wants to start? First, volunteers, then I will volunteer you. You have to say, I do too, I am too, I can too, so do I, so am I, so can I, okay? Now, Don Oscar Armando. I do too, I am too, I can too, so do I, so am I, so can I. Thank you very much. Now. Someone else? Me, teacher Katia. Okay, Katia, go ahead. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. Okay, now Daisy. Daisy? Daisy Sarai Perez. Excuse me. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So I am. So can I. So am I. So am I. I. Okay. Now someone else. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. I do too, I am too, I can too, so do I, I am, uh, so am I, so can I. Thank you. Now, um, another volunteer. Raise your hand. No? Okay, Edith Araceli. Okay, teacher. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Okay, uh, I don't do, I am too, I am too, 
So do I, so um, I, so can I. Okay, remember is I am to, I can to. Okay, you don't say I can to. I can to. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now. Eh, Vidal Mejia. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I do. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. Okay. Now, please, Andrea Michel. Se me escucha, teacher. Yes. Bueno, I do too, I am too, I can too, so do I, so am I, so can I. Okay, thank you very much. Fátima Elizabeth. Fátima. Ok. Jessica Janet Sánchez. Ok. Ok. Eh, solo serían las oraciones. ¿verdad? Sí, solo okay. serían las expresiones. Ajá. Okay. I do too. Ok. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. Uh, so can I. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Now let's continue. Now. I'm not either. I can't. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Bye. Okay. I don't either. I don't either. I don't I'm not either. either. I don't either. I'm not either. I'm not either. either. I can not either. either. I can't can can either. either. Neither do I. Neither, Neither do I. 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 Neither am I. Neither, Neither am I. 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 Neither can I. Neither can I. I don't either. I don't, don't, either. don't either. I'm not either. I'm not, 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 not either. either. I can't either. I can't either. Not either. Neither do I. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither am I. Neither am I. Neither can I. Neither can I. Okay. Neither can I. In this session, a conversation will be played where a waiter and a customer use modal verbs, such as good and will for request. Now listen first. Thank you. 
Teacher, I don't hear anything. Perdón. I don't hear anything. No se está escuchando. No, no. No, teacher, lo anterior tampoco se escuchó. Pensé yes, que teacher. solo era yo. Pero fíjense que estoy usando la misma. O sea, lo mismo que siempre he estado utilizando. Pero no sé. Pero oye. sí, lo que dice el compañero es cierto. Tampoco la, la anterior la, la escuchaba, pero pensé que era ahí. Solo era yo, como aquí está cayendo un gran aguacero. Ah, pero, ¿no? ajá. Es probable que eso sea. Pero permítame, estoy subiendo lo más que puedo el volumen. Ok, teacher, thanks. Esto. Y si no, nos vamos a ir a pie. <ríe> vale, escuchemos ahora. ¿Y ahora se escuchó? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Después lo vamos a hacer a pie. Lo vamos a hacer solito. Okay. May I take your order? May I take your order? Okay. First I will read everything and then I will ask you to repeat, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. May I take your order? Yeah. May I take, I take your, your order? order? No. First, just listen. Primero solo escuchen. Después... Le voy a decir que repitamos, pero ahorita solo escuchen. Ok, teacher. Ok. May I take your order? Yes. I like the lamb kebab. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes. I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Ahí está mal escrito. Yo se lo voy a arreglar. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large ice tea, please. Now, may I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kebab. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes. I like a large iced tea, please. Okay. Now, listen and repeat. Wait, I will, I will wait. Uh, please, I will change the vinaigrette first. Yes, permita. Now, you can see the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. May I take your order? Repeat, please. May I take your order? May I take your order? You May order. I take your order? Yes. 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 Así como, como, 
como que fuera así. Yes. 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 Si usted dice yes, es como que usted estuviera poniendo J-E-S. Entonces, yes. y este caso es yes. O sea, yes. 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 I'd like the lamb kebabs. I like, I like, I like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would All you right. like a salad? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. I'll have a mixed salad. I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? And would you like, like anything to drink? drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Yes, I like a large tea, please. Acuérdese que no es yes, es yes, 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 okay. Dice que ese problema de la pronunciación de la Y se da hasta con las canciones y por eso también hacen las traducciones mal hechas. Porque este, no sé si ustedes alguna vez han escuchado la canción eh, de Kenny Rogers que se llama este, eh, The Tower of the County, el cobarde de, del condado. Si usted busca el lyric, o sea, la, 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 la letra de la canción, de, de esa canción, entonces este, dice yellow, 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 o sea, es como amarillo. Así le han puesto. Y debería decir ye, yellow, o sea, gelatina. Entonces, porque la gente no está acostumbrada que cuando se dice yellow es con Y y cuando se dice yellow es con J. Entonces, con J, yellow es gelatina y con Y, yellow amarillo. es amarillo. ¿verdad? Entonces, le han puesto ahí yellow como amarillo, pero a él no le decían amarillo. A él le decían gelatinoso, porque era el cobarde del condado. ¿Se entiende ahora? Entonces, yes. ¿qué hace la gelatina cuando usted la tiene afuera? Como que tiembla, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, a él no le decían amarillo. ¿Qué tiene que ver amarillo con, con, con ser este Cuidado. cobarde? A él le decían gelatinoso. They call him yellow. O sea, y con J, Y o sea, gelatina, gelatinoso. ¿Ok? Sí, cuando escuché esa canción, igual no, no le hallaba el sentido que le dijeran amarillo. Pero pensé que era algo, no sé, del pueblo o algo así. No, no. Eh, eh, es que, eh, y, y fíjense que casi nadie se ha dado cuenta en eso. Y, y la gente en Native Speaker creen que es hielo y no es. No es yellow, yellow, porque para decir amarillo sería I, yellow, ¿verdad? Y ahí dicen ye, yellow. O sea, yellow es gelatina. O sea, ahí le decían gelatinoso. O sea, en esas cositas me fijo yo. Entonces, este, eh, también, por ejemplo, hay, otra, hay, otra, hay otro dicho, ¿verdad? Así cuando usted mira en películas y uno va leyendo la traducción, entonces, este, le dice, si quieres, la gente dice dinero, 
sigue a las abejas. ¿Y qué tiene que ver dinero con abejas? No es, no es money, es honey. Ha, honey. De, si quieres miel, sigue a las abejas. Entonces, hay, hay gente que, según ellos, escuchan una cosa, pero hay que buscarle lógica, sentido. sentido a las cosas. Entonces, no, no crean ustedes todo lo que ven en los subtítulos, porque muchas veces la gente que pone los subtítulos ponen lo que sea y no se fijan en la lógica. Entonces uno tiene que darle lógica a las cosas. Por eso es que, por ejemplo, yo no me considero solo una traductora, sino que yo me considero una intérprete. ¿Verdad? Entonces no es lo mismo traducir que eso lo puede hacer usted con cualquier eh, herramienta, incluso con Google, ¿verdad? Que ser un intérprete, porque el intérprete le va a buscar sentido a las cosas. Por ejemplo, en, en inglés hay una, hay una frase que ocupan para, para decir, espero que haya llegado a salvo, ¿verdad? Eso significa, espero que haya llegado a, a salvo. Entonces, pero ellos, eh, nosotros en español decimos, eh, solo decimos a salvo, creo, cuando llegamos de un viaje. Y ellos dicen, eh, sound en, ¿cómo es que dicen la palabra? Safe and sound. Safe, thank you. Safe and sound, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, a salvo y, y sonando. Entonces, pero a la hora de usted es, estar haciendo la traducción, no va a decir eso porque alguien de, de nosotros no lo va a entender. Entonces, solo dice, espero que haya llegado a salvo, ¿verdad? Entonces, aunque ellos digan safe and sound, pero si usted lo traduce palabra por palabra, no lo va a entender este, normalmente. Entonces, los dichos y cosas así, uno los tiene que trasladar al, 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 al idioma que nosotros conocemos coloquialmente. ¿Okay? Entonces, esa es la diferencia entre ser traductor y ser intérprete. ¿Verdad? El intérprete agarra la idea y la dice como la persona lo va a entender. El traductor solo va diciendo palabra por palabra y acuérdense que muchas veces las palabras pueden tener más de un sentido y si usted solo le da un sentido se pierde la idea. ¿Verdad? Entonces yo A little bit for you. Now, eh, do I have volunteers for the dialogue? Tengo voluntarios. Hoy sí vamos a pasar todos, porque aquí si se fijaron la clase ya se terminó. Entonces vamos a hacerlo todos. O vemos primero el examen y después este hacemos el ejercicio este del diálogo por lo del tiempo. Hello. A mí me gusta que ustedes opinen. El Vemos diálogo ahorita... primero, teacher. Ya First estamos ahí. Vamos, veamos lo del diálogo primero y después el examen. Ok. Now. Volunteers. Me teacher. Okay, who is me? Andrea. Okay, Andrea in. Andrea in who else? And Daisy, okay? Okay, teacher.
first. Mm -hmm. First, Andrea. Okay. Uh, may I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kids. Kebab. Or kebab. 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 Este, ¿Saben cuáles son los kebab? No, teacher. Son no, como sí. eh, eh, que se ponen que se ponen en aquellos palitos así. Pinchos. Oh, okay. Son como los kebab. Ajá. De, de lamb son este corderos. Cordero. O sea, no, pinchos de, de cordero. Kebab. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ajá. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Mixed green salad. Mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like alert. I see tea, please. Okay, thank you. Now, remember that it's not yes, by yes. Okay? Yes. So, Katia and... Mi teacher. Eduardo, okay? Okay, teacher. Permitan que no me quiere agarrar esto. Ajá. Ok. Ok. First, me. Ok. May I take your order? Yes. You like the lambs keep back. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes. You'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, you'd like a large iced tea, please. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. It's I'd, I'd like. Ese I'd yeah. es como I good. I'd. I'd, 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 I'd. I'd. I would like or uh, I would like. like. I would like. I like. Thank you. Now, other other two volunteers. Me teacher. Uh, Me teacher. Uh, Ricardo. Yes. And who else? Oscar Armando. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Inicio yo. Correcto. But, may I take your order? Yes, I will like the lamb band kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I I have mixed the green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Uh, would you like anything to drink? No, no, blue cheese, no, no. please. Uh, blue, blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I would like a lot of CT, please. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Miguel Angel. Yes, and teacher. who else? En Juan Francisco. Ready. Yes. And may I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kebab. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Okay. What team? of dressing world to life. We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. 
Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers, please. Okay, William Liborio. Edith Araceli. William, you go first. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kiver. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mix of green salad. Okay. What kind of greasy wool do you like? We have blue cheese and vinegar. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Okay, thank you very much. Other two volunteers? Uh, Vidal? Hey, teacher. And Elmer, okay? My, okay, my time <laughs> to order. Elmer? Yes, I like that loud kebab. All right, and what do you like a salad? Yes. I have a mixed green salad. Green salad. <laughs> okay. What kind of dressing would you like? You have blue cheese and vinegar. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? To drink? <laughs> yes. I like a large iced tea, please. Okay, thank you very much. Bien, entonces ahora vamos a ver. Sí, eh, vamos a, a, a revisar lo del examen para si tienen dudas o consultas, porque acuérdense que para el viernes ya lo van a tener que tener resuelto. ¿Verdad? Entonces para que vayan adelantando lo más que puedan. Porque mañana vamos a terminar de hacer los dos ejercicios de, de este. Y este. Y, y entonces, el, el, como el jueves no hay clases, y ya para el viernes en la noche tienen que tener contestado el examen. Pero entonces mejor vemos el, el midterm exam ahorita. ¿Verdad? Entonces, bueno, acuérdense que aquí solo es a ver si entienden o no entienden las, las preguntas. No vamos a dar respuestas. Solo. Este. Bueno, ahí está el listen. ¿Verdad? You have to listen, you, uh, there are some conversations and you have to correct the answers. Este, eh, ¿Escucharon eso que les puse? No, 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 teacher. No. Ay, no, pero no hay problema. Este, Ustedes lo tienen ahí en la plataforma, ustedes lo escuchan. Mira, entonces, con la información ustedes van a ver si del primero que escuchan, if the woman visited Hokkaido for the first time, if the beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded, the woman thinks Hokkaido is pretty stressful. Okay, entonces, de, la, de lo que ustedes van a leer de la información, ¿Cuál de estas tres cosas es? Now, repeat after me. The woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. 
Repeat. The woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. No los escucho. Disculpen, solo yo me salí o todos se salieron. Hello. Hubo problemita, ¿verdad? Yes, bueno, pero ya estamos grabando otra vez. No sé qué pasó, de repente se me escaparon todos y empezó a decir esto conectando y aquí no ha pasado nada. Tengo energía normal. Creo que fue el, el Zoom. Bueno, vamos a seguir con el midterm. Bueno, repeat after me. The woman visited Hokkaido for the first time. The woman visited woman Hokkaido, Hokkaido for the first for... time. Bien, ¿Saben qué significa eso? First time. ¿Saben qué significa todo eso? ¿Entienden la oración? ¿Me escuchan? Hello. ¿Entienden la oración? ¿Sí? No. B. Yes, teacher. Yes, B. The beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded. Repeat. The beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded. Sí. The woman thinks Hokkaido is pretty stressful. The woman thinks Hokkaido is pretty stressful. The woman thinks Hokkaido is pretty stressful. Okay. You understand the three sentences? Entiende las tres oraciones? Yes. Now, for the second conversation, the man had a great vacation in Paris last July. If El Salvador is raining and here we have problems. Okay. Now. Repeat after me. The man had a great vacation in Paris last July. The man the men had a great vacation last July. The man had a great The man hasn't been to Paris yet. The man hasn't been to Paris yet. The man can't wait to go to Paris in August. The man can't wait to go to Paris in August. August. Do you understand the three sentences? ¿Entienden las tres oraciones? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's continue then. Number three. Repeat after me. You shouldn't go to the Ramblas because it's 
a very long street. You shouldn't miss some of the museums in Barcelona. We should miss some You should visit Spain in January. Okay, the idea of this listening is that you will be listening the conversation and you have to say what is the information you can gather from the conversation. Okay. Now, number four, repeat after me. The woman went to Victoria, but not to Vancouver. The woman went to Victoria, but not Vancouver. Victoria has a nice harbor. It's dangerous, however. Victoria has a nice harbor. It's dangerous, however. Dangerous, however. Victoria is both safe and clean. Victoria is both safe and clean. Okay, now, in the... In part B, you have to put the words in the correct order to make sentences, okay? Now, you have to arrange these. And when you arrange these, you have to uh, decide which of these ones is the correct sentence, okay? Now, repeat after me. Seu is a really fascinating city. Seu is a really fascinating city. Seu is really fascinating city. Seu is really fascinating city. Seu is fascinating a city really. A really fascinating city, really so. A really fascinating city, really so. Okay, now, next. Country is extremely interesting, Peru. Country is extremely interesting, Peru. Peru is an extremely country interesting. Peru is an extremely country interesting. Peru is an extremely interesting country. Peru is an extremely interesting country. Country Peru. Country Peru is an extremely interesting. Country Peru is an extremely interesting. Too expensive is rape for me. Too expensive is a rape for me. Taipei is too expensive for me. Taipei is too expensive for me. Taipei is too expensive me for. Taipei is too expensive me for. Taipei too expensive for me. Taipei too expensive for me. Okay, now you have to circle the correct word. Okay. Now, you don't have to circle, you have to choose, okay? But they say circle. New York City is very exciting, but it, but it, remember when you are using but, is that, is the opposite? Or negative. Okay, now. 
New York City is very exciting, but it's boring, safe, stressful. Okay. Remember that if it, 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 this is a positive thing and it says bad, the next will be a negative thing. Okay. And if it is exciting, it cannot be boring. Okay. Porque no puede ser opuestos en la misma oración, o sea, en algo no puede ser emocionante y aburrido al mismo tiempo. Pero puede ser emocionante y después tener una connotación negativa, pero no, no algo que sea el opuesto de exciting. Ok. Now. Lisbon is an interesting city. And it and yeah. interesting and okay, both are good. Now it's an interesting city. Repeat Lisbon, Lisbon, is, is, an interesting city. City. Lisbon is, is an interesting city. Lisbon is an interesting city. city. And it is or it's okay, you have to choose. Beautiful, noisy, polluted. Beautiful, noisy, polluted. Now, repeat after me. Tokyo is a safe city. Tokyo is a safe city. It's dog. It's okay. Clean. Crowded, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Now, my hometown is pretty boring. My hometown is pretty boring. It's very, however, it's very expensive. Relaxing. 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 Ugly. Ugly. Uh, complete the sentences. We choose, shouldn't, or can. This city can be dangerous at night. You stay out too late. Can. Should, shouldn't. Sure. Now repeat after me. This city, this city, this city, this city can be dangerous at night. Can be dangerous, be dangerous at night. night. You, you, you stay out too late. Stay out too late. You. You, you travel by subway late uh, at night. Travel by, travel by subway late, 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 late at night. There are no trains after midnight. There are no, there are no trains, trains after midnight. midnight. Can't, Can't. Should. 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 shouldn't. shouldn't. In Hong Kong, in Hong Kong, in Hong Kong, the Hong weather Kong. is best in the fall. The weather is best in the fall. You, 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 you go there then. Go there, go there then. then. Can't. Can and should shouldn't now match uh, the problems with the advice. Okay, then use the information to write conversation. The second part is is they don't they don't uh, really uh, put the exercise, but you can do it. We, we can do it here together. Now, 
fever. A fever. A fever. A fever. A fever. A fever. A fever. Okay, what would you uh, what could you do for fever? Use a heating pad, see a dentist, take some aspirin, or try this lotion. Okay. Use heating pad. Use heating pad. See a dentist. See a dentist. Take some aspirin. Try this lotion. Try this lotion. A sunburn. A sunburn. Use a heating pad. Use a heating pad. Yeah, I, I, I would like to see that. Treating a sunburn with a heating pad. <laughs> okay. See a dentist. See a dentist. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Try this lotion. Try this lotion. Try this lotion. Sir muscle. Sir muscle. Use a heating pad. Use a heating, Use a heating pad. pad. Be attentive. Be attentive. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. A toothpaste. A toothpaste. A toothache. A toothache. Use a heating pad. Use a heating pad. See a dentist. See a dentist. See a dentist. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Try this lotion. Try this lotion. Okay. Now, uh, what do you have for a call? What do you have, what what do you have, have for, for a call? Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Or vitamin C. Or vitamin, vitamin, C. vitamin C. Vitamin C. Take one every day. Take one every day. Every day. Butter. Jar. 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 Pack. Pack. Two. Two. Can I have something for dry skin? Can I have something for dry skin? I suggest this. I suggest, I suggest this of hot cream. Oh, 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 oh. Cream. Apply some every morning. Apply, Apply some, some every, morning. every morning. May I have something for a toothache? May, May I, have I have something for a toothache? Of course, try this. Of course, of course, try, try, try this. this. Of a special toothpaste. Of a special toothpaste. Could I get something for a sore throat? Could I get something for a sore throat? Sure. Sure. Here's a. Is a of cough drop. Of of cough cough drop. drop. They really work. They really, they really work. work. Okay. And then we have the reading. Now I will read it for you. Okay. Just pay attention. If you have any doubts about vocabulary, ask me. Okay. To tip or not to tip. 
Do you know what tip means? ¿Saben qué significa tip? No. no. Propina. O sea, dar propina o no dar oh, propina. propina. Okay. The word tip comes from an old English slang word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. People who work in these places often get paid low wages. A tip shows that the customer is pleased with the service. Sometimes it's hard to know how much to tip. The size of the tip usually depends on the service. People such as parking ballets or bellhops usually get smaller tips. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiters and waitresses is usually larger. Here are a few guidelines for tipping in the United States. Airport porters or hotel bellhops. One dollar or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. Parking ballets, one dollar for parking a car. Hotel door attendants, one dollar or two for getting a taxi. Hotel maids. One dollar to five dollars per night. Taxi drivers, 15% of the bill. More if they help you with bags. Waiters and waitresses, 15 to 20% of the bill. This is not tipping in fast food restaurants. Barbers or hair stylists. 15% of the bill. When you are not sure about how much to tip, do what feels right. You don't have to tip for bad service and you can give a bigger tip for very good service. Remember though, your behavior is more important than your money. Always treat service providers with respect, okay? Any doubts about uh, vocabulary? No? Do you know what bellhops is? Es este que está aquí, ve? O sea, los que, los que lo llevan a usted así con, a, a las... Los ballets. Sí, los, los, no, que los llevan a, a los sí, cuartos a los en los hoteles, hoteles cuartos, y le llevan hoteles. sus maletas. O sea, Belco. ¿Sí? Como botones, teacher. Sí, yes. los botones. Ok. Ok. Ok, now, see you tomorrow then. Okay. Take care. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Sorry, but good I, night, teacher. I, you send me the 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 rain here. Now I, the the rain is stopping here. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.